leg. Now, we, we've done it a lot from a uh, from an underhook and even an overhook. I like, I like personally, I like it more from an overhook. But when I when I clear this out, I'm not hooking and lifting. Okay, that's a little bit different. That's kind of like a hook and like a wizard kick. What I want you to do is I want you to think about your hamstring punching him in his quad. So, and I, I'm, I'm doing it from an overhook, but we'll do it from a Russian right here too, because that's what we're working on. A lot of times I like try to crowd and step behind, and then they'll, they'll, they'll want to step behind. It's just kind of human nature, right? Boxing magic, I get stung with a real good jab or a body shot, and like their competitive nature wants them to even the score with a jab or a body shot. So if you want this guy to step in front or step behind, then do the opposite. Like step and crowd him behind, then you'll see him start to step behind. Just because they'll, they'll, they'll mess with their brain and make them think, ah, oh, man, this guy wants to be behind me, so I'm going to get behind them. Right? So I'm giving them the opposite. But what's going to happen is I'm going to I'm going to literally kick with my hamstring. I'm going to kick him out, and then I'm going to trap his far foot. Okay? See how I just hooked his ankle with my laces? So I'm literally kicking. I'm not hooking and lifting. All right? I'm bending my knee. I'm attacking their quad with my hamstring, all right? So I might pull, then I might step behind and crowd. Then as soon as they're behind me, I'm gonna cheat step up. It's not even, it's not gonna be like a foot change, but I'll just cheat step up, and then I'm gonna attack. See how my hamstring's hitting this quad, and it's not completely straight? Then I'm gonna straighten it out. See how it kicks it out of the way? So as I straighten it out here, I just go to that far ankle. Now I got a crunch, it's almost like an ankle pick, right here, to drive into them. You might get that bottom leg cradle, shelfing it up, okay? Don't let them turn down and run away. That's a lot of points we're going to leave on the table, okay? So I get to this Russian tie, all right? We've been getting there a bunch of different ways. Push, pull, off balance, step behind like I'm trying to crowd. Once you get this, maybe I'll off balance them again. Okay, then I cheat step in. I'm attacking the quad with my hamstring. Kick it out, trap. Right there. Kick it out and trap. Oh, chase this cradle on your feet. Okay, put them down on the mat. Thread that up to your foot. Thread that foot up to your, to your thigh. Okay, Come on, your Please sit. So maybe I wouldn't get my Russian with the post. He grabs my wrist. Rotate down, I get my slog tie. Boom, work my way up to my rush and push, pull, off balance. Step behind like I'm trying to crowd him here. Once he gets behind me, I'm gonna kick, attack with the hamstring. All right, I'm not, don't scoop. It's not a curl, it's not a hook. Boom, then I'm driving across. You can reach down and pick it up, right there, and then just drive it in looking for your shelf. All right, just wrestle through that position. Any questions? So we got getting to our Russian, off balancing and moving, stepping behind and crowding, all right? And then we're taking that leg out far side trip. Anybody need to see it again, we good? One more again. All right, so I got my Russian, okay? And maybe I was chasing her, and I come back to it, okay? Maybe I chase that drive and I come back to it, all right? I'm trying to crowd out behind Clearing that leg out, getting my shelf in that position, just play around in there. You might find something you like that it's not even what was on the menu today for practice. All right, but the more we move, create openings, the more we're gonna score and feel comfortable. Go!